Hey guys, welcome to Big Rob's Kitchen. And on tonight's episode of What the Fuck Are We Cooking? It is a motorbike helmet set up for motor vlogging. Such a fucking idiot, Rob. <laughs> I finally got a new helmet. It is an Arai Profile V. Much, much better than my Bell Bullet. Uh, but I need to set it up for motor vlogging. So that's basically what I'm gonna do today. Uh, first things first, I've had a long day, it's about 11 o'clock at night, fuck it, I'm having a whiskey. Mm. Yeah, so, basically, the way I'm going to do it is, alright, let me just start off, this is not a how-to. Do not take anything I say as instruction because I wing too much shit and it's going to fuck up, so. It's not a how-to, it's what I did. But, I use a GoPro Hero 8. Good little camera. You need to have the microphone adapter or you need to use the GoPro Hero 8 mod, which I've been using and it was great, but I do have a few apprehensions about getting caught in some light rain and the extra microphones and shit everywhere. Plus, the cable I used for in the back of it got all messed up and ruined my audio and that was a whole different thing. So, to try something different, I've got the GoPro 8 vlogging cage and that I can put the microphone adapter into it and I'm gonna mount it on the side of the helmet, front of the helmet, sort of, and see how it goes. Using a Purple Panda lavalier microphone, uh, which I was using, that's what I've been previously using on the last setup and it seems fine, it's just a matter of getting to work on this one. So, Without further ado, more whiskey. Now let's do this shit. Okay, so what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to uh, mount a curved GoPro mount on the side of the helmet here roughly. I was gonna put it on the front, but it's, uh, it's not exactly the perfect spot for it. And you can get, um, custom made mounts for it where people can measure them up and make them and 3D print them out but I haven't found anyone's willing to do it for this one except for a friend of mine who has got a 3D printer he's going to make one up, going to measure it all out but that motherfucker's busy so it's going to be about a month or so to do that so I am going to mount it on the side here now you don't get a perfect mount although it is pretty close but um, yeah somewhere along here and I'm going to stick it on put a GoPro on it and go from there that's part one so first things first, you need a little bit of the rubbing alcohol to make sure the helmet is nice and clean. A little bit for the helmet and a little bit for me. Clean it down, make sure that there's no shit on there. And then, I guess we've got to figure out roughly where we want the fucker, don't we? So what I'm thinking is if I mount it around here, that should give me the option to have one of these droppy downy sort of setups and I've got the, um, the swivel mount here so I can adjust it all around a bit. Yeah, so I'm thinking somewhere there with having it drop down a bit. Um, it's not ideal, it's not what I prefer. I prefer it to be sitting up like this on the chin because this doesn't quite sit perfect on there. And I definitely don't have it perfect on my bell bullet because I'll put in a little photo of that and you all will see how much I fucking just wing shit and I should have lost it ages ago but I didn't. Now they say you should heat these little fucking things up a little bit before, fuck it, before you put it on so let's just go to the good old flame and stuff because uh, you know, if we're gonna, if we're gonna wing shit we're gonna wing it properly. So, put that on there, let it sit for a little bit. They say 24 hours, I'm going to let it sit overnight because I've got writing to do tomorrow, so that's what I'm going to do. And then we can start looking at the inside bits. Alright, so we've got to get the microphone in there, which, like I said, is a Purple Panda Lovely mic. But we want that sitting somewhere inside there. So, these just pull out. I won't detach that completely because that has got my speakers on it. Okay, Dave. So basically, what I want to do is try and have the microphone sitting 
Somewhere just inside here. Right near my mouth. Which is going to be over there. So I'm just going to do that with a little bit of tape. There are other options to do it with. Uh, like I said, this is not a how-to. This is what I'm doing. Uh, good one to watch is Shade Tree Surgeon's one. I'll link his how-to in there in the description. Aha! Okay, yeah, so as you can see, we've got just the cable sticking out here. This should all be in place. I'll put it all on in a minute to try it. GoPro will hang down there. Cable. Go from here into the back of the media mod, and hopefully it should all work. So, yeah. Well, alrighty then. It is the next day. I've uh, got the helmet all set up. I've got the audio recording because uh, I had to go and get an yet another uh, cable from a microphone because I'm a fucking idiot and <laughs> completely bought the wrong cable and it did not work at all. So for those of you who are getting the Purple Panda microphone to use with the GoPro, either with the uh, Media Mod or the microphone adapter, you will need a TRRS to TRS adapter. I had a TRS to TRRS adapter, which basically meant it didn't fucking work. But with all that sorted, we're going to get up to some uh, speeds, have a bit of a ride around, see how it feels with the, with the GoPro in the position that it's in. Uh, I'm not overly thrilled with it, but I don't see it as a permanent solution. But at this stage, I need to go get some fuel because fuel gauge is low and my idiot light is coming on sporadically, which means if I don't do something about it, I'm going to run out of fuel and that'll suck balls. Hello. Uh, number six, please. Thank you. Fucky doggy, fuel has been acquired. So now that I've got the range, let's go for a little bit of a ride and we'll uh, We'll see how the helmet handles up with the, with the GoPro on at uh, some a bit more of the highway speeds that I'll be doing. At this stage, look, it's feeling okay. I can see it. It's sort of in my peripheral vision, but um, I'm okay with that. The other one was too, just slightly in a different spot. And as for this helmet, I'm not too sure how the audio is until I come back and check it out, but I'm assuming it's going to be, I don't know, passable. Uh, it is much better on me than what my Bell Bullet was because uh, the bell bullet was a bucket of shit. Uh, as I said many times before, I'm pretty sure I'll safe in it. I'm fairly confident I'll safe in it. Look, let's just say I'll safe in it. <laughs> but it was whistling at the best of times and had earaches. I was forced to wear earplugs and even uh, even here on some uh, relatively windy days, uh, I'm not having any issues. Well, now that we're away from that suburbia stuff, I've, uh, I'm, I'm up to about 100 k's an hour, which is most of the speed limits in the Australian area, and that is definitely the speed I'll be doing when I'm on my motorcycle recording. And, look, it feels stable enough. I'm not too sure how the sound's coming through, but, um, look, when I turn my head, 
I can definitely feel it, but no more than what I feel when I had the GoPro mounted on the chin. And um, that hadn't had very little contact on the uh, from the, the GoPro mount stuck onto the, the round the chin bar. So I don't know, I guess we'll see how I go with this for a little bit. It's not the most ideal setup that I would like, but look. So far it's working, I guess. Oh, and lockdown has finally finished for me. I do not, I'm not stuck in fucking 5k radius. I can, I can go places. So whilst it's uh, springtime in Australia, which means it's warm, it's muggy, I probably shouldn't have worn a leather jacket, probably should have gone for something lighter. Uh, and it's probably gonna piss down rain on me soon. Uh, I'm going to go for a little squirt because I can go out of my little wing. Yeah, so at this stage, I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for watching. For those of you that come along to get a, uh, a tutorial on how to set up your new helmet for motor vlogging, I'm very sorry you got a fucking idiot that was just, you know, fucking around with his helmet and drinking whiskey 11 o'clock at night in his kitchen. Like I said, this isn't a how-to, it's what I did. So, um, there are heaps of, uh, heaps of videos out there and channels that have made really good tutorials on how to uh, set up motor vlogging. I'll chuck a few of them in the, the description some links and um, yeah go watch those. I'll also put in the in the description there uh, links to everything that I've used for, for my setup. Uh, they, that is based, I'll show basically where I got them from. Um, don't feel you have to buy them through there because I get nothing from, from doing that. Absolutely nothing. Nada. Go find a cheaper price, find your cheaper posting, find out what's best for you and uh, keep riding, don't be a dick to one another and have some fucking fun. Alright, big rub out.